Hi, I'm John, and today we're going to take a look at the Iraq 21 semi-automatic rifle. We're going to do a torture test. Let's check it out and see how it does. So we're going to go ahead and do a drop test on the Iraq 21 and see how it handles impacts, and then we're going to do a three-round test fire purely for uh, function check. So. So now that we've done the drop test, let's go ahead and do a submersion test in water. We're going to go ahead and put it in this cooler and leave it there for about a minute and then take it out and shoot it. All right, it's been about a minute. Let's go ahead and take it out and see how it works. All right, so so far the rifle's held up great. We've dropped it, we've dunked it in water. Now we're gonna do the extreme cold test. And uh, you know, most people would use normal ice. We figured we'd you know, do a little more extreme and go ahead and use dry ice. So uh, let's see how the rifle holds up. All right, so it's been about 10 minutes. Let's go ahead and uh, take it out of the ice and see if it functions. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and do the dirt and debris test. And for this test, we've taped the muzzle. We're leaving the magazine in. Bolt carry is gonna be closed and the rifle will be unsafe. So let's go ahead and uh, fully bury it in the ground and see how it fires. All right, so we've left it in there for a couple minutes, stomped on it, so let's uh, go ahead and pull it out of the dirt and see how it fires. All right, so we've, we've dropped it, we've dunked it in water, we've frozen it completely, we've buried it in the dirt, and it seems to be holding up just fine. So let's go ahead and do an extreme test. All right, so we've done a, uh, a few small drop tests, but uh, I figured since we have a cliff at our disposal, let's go ahead and do an extreme drop test. So, not really sure what to expect, but uh, here it goes. Here's the rifle. We dropped it from about 15 to 20 feet, and uh, you can definitely see we did some, some definitive damage here. Um, you can see the buffer tube and the stock have actually snapped off the back of the rifle, um, but because this is a uh, long stroke piston design, uh, the Iraq 21 doesn't need a buffer or a buffer spring, so this may still actually function. So let's go ahead and uh, test it out down there. Here goes nothing. Well, that was pretty extreme, but I'm not fully satisfied. Let's go do one more thing. All right, so we weren't really planning on doing this test, but after the last drop test, uh, you know, and it still functioned just fine, we figured we'd uh, take a little tanner right here and uh, go ahead and blow this rifle up and see what happens just for fun. All right, so overall, i got to say, very impressed with this rifle. To start with, we did a series of different drop tests. We did a water submersion test. We uh, froze the rifle completely with uh, dry ice. We actually did an extreme drop test from about a 15-foot drop and actually broke off the buffer tube and stock system. But because of the way the rifle is designed, we were still able to shoot. Um, we also buried the rifle and uh, shook off all the dirt, shot perfectly. And lastly, we uh, blew it up. And the rifle still managed to function through all of that. 
visit factsandfirearms.com.